Hi, I'm Dave Plummer. I'm the branch secretary for United Community Essex branch. Um, and I'm here today because benefit sanctions don't work. They hurt people um, and they're counterproductive. Uh, the, the only study I'm aware of that's been done was commissioned by the DWP and undertaken by um, Oxford University. And that was a very small study, but that itself found that sanctions are counterproductive. Um, if you want people to find work, the last thing you need to do is take away all of their money um, or put them in a position where they're having to apply for hardship payments. Because how is that going to help people find work if they're scratching around trying to find food to eat? Um, our benefit system is shocking anyway. Uh, the benefits that people are given are tiny compared to what's needed. Um, and sanctions just show how little the government cares. The letter you get from the DWP when you first sign on says this is the amount of money we think you need to live on. This is the amount of money the law says you need to live on. So if the law says that's what people need to live on, how can the government then take away that little bit of money that people have? Uh, people have been sanctioned for things like going to funerals, for getting a job and not job searching while they're waiting to start that job. That's a nonsense. Um, and for being late to appointments, you know, certainly around here in this area, which is Epping Forest, the public transport's so bad that you can never guarantee getting to appointment anywhere. The government says that it wants Britain to be fair for everybody, but uh, here in Essex alone, the county council's facing some of the 86% cuts by 2020. Those cuts are going to affect the least well-off people, they're going to affect care services, going to affect public transport. This is all part of the same programme of pushing down wages, pushing down support and leaving the most vulnerable and the least well-off, including those who are working, predominantly those who are working, much worse off than there's any need for them to be. You know, wages are stagnating or reducing and we end up paying for it as taxpayers through um, housing benefit, family tax credits, working tax credits, we end up subsidising the profits of the private companies who still manage to find billions to give off to their shareholders. We need to enforce a living wage, not what the government calls a living wage, which isn't anything but. They increase the minimum wage, rebrand it as a living wage, and I think they thought they'd get away with it. So we're not that stupid. I dread to think what things are going to be like when we've left the European Union. Uh, Theresa May has said that she doesn't want to attack workers' rights, but the Trade Union Reform Act gives some indication of how true that is. You know, they want to smash workers' rights by smashing the trade unions. Trade unions are still the best mechanism that workers have got to stick, stick up for themselves. If an employer is hammering you, you can go to that employer and say, stop hammering me, and they won't pay any attention. If the majority of the workforce goes to the employer and says, stop hammering me, and they don't pay attention, and say, all right, we'll go on strike, that employer has to pay attention. It's a last resort, but it does work, and that's why you need to join a union if you can.